Good day, mga boss. This is our first video, and our topic for today is elimination of arbitrary constants. So, we give you the two problems dito or the two functions, and the uh, problem is find the ODE. The ODE stands for ordinary differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants. So, we are going to have the video is to do the step by step process kung paano to eliminate the arbitrary constants. So, let us start. Okay. Ngayon din natin mga boss, istibilangin muna natin kung ilan yung given arbitrary constants sa ating function. So in equation number 1 or function number 1, we have 1 2 3. Meron po tayong tatlong arbitrary constants. Bakit natin binilang yung arbitrary constants? Because that will give us the idea kung ilan beses natin i-differentiate yung function. So Meron tayong tatlong arbitrary constants, so we're going to differentiate our function three times. Okay, so first we're going to get the first derivative of y of our function, meaning this is derivative of y is y prime, then derivative of c sub 1 x squared. So reviewing our formula in differentiating equation or reviewing our formula in the derivative, so we have derivative of a constant times u that is constant derivative of u divided by dx and d u divided by dx so meron din tayo derivative of uh, u raised to n that is equal to n u n minus 1 d u dx okay. so itong formula na to ang gamitin natin pag derive or pag kuha ng derivative ng ating function. So first, the derivative of our first term, c sub 1 x squared. So, susulat muna natin dito yung final answer natin, derivative na natin dito. So, we have a constant. So, derivative ng x squared. So, ito yung derivative natin. So, n, that is 2. Then, u, n minus 1. This is our u. So, we have x. So, 2 minus 1, that is 1. So, x na lang yung natira. So, we have 2 c sub 1 x. So, that is the derivative of our first term. So, no? So, derivative of c sub 2 x. So, we have c sub 2 derivative of x. So, may formula tayo. The derivative of x that is equal to 1. So the derivative of x is 1, so 1 times c sub 2 is c sub 2. Next, what is the derivative of a constant? That is c sub 3. So always remember the derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. So 0 na So next, we will get the second derivative. So the derivative of y prime is y double prime. That is equal to the derivative of c sub 1 x. We have a constant 2 c sub 1. What is again the derivative of x? That is 1. So 1 times 2 c sub 1 is 2 c sub 1. Again, what is the derivative of a constant? Okay, that is 0. So 0 na to. So c sub 2 c sub 1 na lang yung natira. Then the third derivative, that is y triple prime, equals what is the derivative of 2 c sub 1? So 2 c sub 1 is a constant. So the derivative of a constant is 0. So this is the answer for number 1. Okay, mga boss, let's go now to our second problem, or problem number 2. So we're going to eliminate the arbitrary constant of y equals c sub 1 e raised to 2x plus c sub 2 e raised to negative 3x. So again, mga boss, bibigangin na natin yung arbitrary constant ng given function natin. So we have c sub 1 is a is up to dalawa. So, we have two arbitrary constants. So, ilang beses natin i-differentiate yung ating function? So, dalawang beses. So, first, the derivative of y, that is y prime, equal to 
So derivative of c sub 1 e raised to 2x. So I'm going back again to our formula sa pag, uh, paggamit ng derivative. So we have the derivative of e raised to u equal to e raised to u du dx. So ito yung formula na gamitin natin pag differentiate ito. So Again, meron tayong constant. This is a 1. E raised to 2x. So, E raised to u. So, we have E. Copy na natin. That's a 2x. And, tapos, kunin natin yung uh, differentiate natin yung exponent niya na 2x. So, what is the uh, derivative of 2x? That is 2. Okay? So, 2 times C sub 1. We have now 2. C sub 1 e raised to x. So for the second term, we have c sub 2 e raised to negative 3x. We have c sub 2 again, we copy this using this formula, e raised to negative 3x. Then we will get the derivative of the exponent e negative 3x that is negative 3. Oh, sorry, it's negative 3 now. Okay? So this is now negative 3 so that is now minus 3c sub 2e raised to negative 3x. So that is the first derivative of our function. Next, we have the second derivative. The derivative of y prime, that is y double prime, equals derivative of this. So we have 2c sub 1, that is our constant. Derivative of e raised to 2x, that is e raised to 2x. Then we will get the derivative of the exponent. Derivative of 2x is... Okay, so 2 times 2 that will give us 4 c sub 1 c sub 1 e raised to 2x. Okay, then next we're going to get the derivative of the second term. So again, we have here negative 3 c sub 2. So, copy e raised to negative 3x, then we're going to get the derivative of negative 3x that will give us negative 3. So, negative 3 times negative 3 that will give us positive 9, c sub 2 e raised to negative 3x. Now, we are through differentiating our function up to 2, up to second derivative. But, as you can see, meron pa tayo arbitrary constants. Hindi pa na-eliminate yung arbitrary constants. So, paano natin i-eliminate yung arbitrary constant? So, this is our equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. So, ang gagawin natin is we're going to get the value of c sub 1 e to 2x and c sub 2 e to negative 3x and then we're going to uh, substitute to equation 1 para mahawala na yung arbitrary constant. So, ang gagawin natin is we will combine 2 equation 2 and equation 3. So, una, hanggang natin yung value ni c sub 1 e raised to 2x. So, by combining equation 2 and equation 3. Since we're looking for the value of c sub 1 e raised to 2x, kailangan mo na natin ma-eliminate si c sub 2 e raised to negative 3x. So, dapat mo 0 ito siya. Yung, yung second term natin na 0. So, para pag-combine natin ito, Dapat, yung negative 3 magiging negative 9 siya, parang di 0 na. So, ano yung i-multiply natin sa equation 2 para yung negative 3 c sub 2 e raised to negative 3 x is magiging negative 9 c sub 2 e raised to negative 3 x. So, we multiply the equation, the whole equation 2, by 3. Bakit yung multiply tayo ng 3? Para yung negative 3 dito magiging negative 9 na. So, 3 times y prime equals 2 c sub 1 e raised to 2x minus 3 c sub 2 e raised to 3x. So we multiply 3 times y prime that will give us 3 y prime 3 times 6 c sub 1 e raised to 2x 3 times negative 3 that is negative 9 c sub 2 e raised to negative 3x. So now we're going to combine or add 2 Equation 4, equation 3, that is y, y double prime equals 4 
sisa kurang i raised to 2 x plus 9 sisa 2 i raised to negative 3 x combine or add so kita mungkin bisa common term so kita nanti mau add so we copy 3y prime plus y double prime 6 plus 4 that is 10 c sub 1 e raised to 2 x this is, this is not equal to 0 so to solve for c sub 1 e raised to 2 x so we are going to apply the multiplication property of quantity we are going to multiply 1 divided by 10 in both equations or just simply divide the whole equation by 10 so this is not equal to 1 so c sub 1 e raised to 2 x is equal to 3 y prime plus y double prime divided by 10 ok, that is for our for the value of c sub 1 e raised to 2 x next, we are going to find for the value of c sub 2 e raised to negative 3 x it's not nothing wrong
Then we're going to combine secret ter terms. We have 9y prime minus 4y prime is 5y prime. 3y double prime plus 2y double prime is 5y double prime. Then we put the number to y on the right side. So dividing 5y, this is applying the addition property of equality as 5y double prime. So the shortcut is pag nilipat natin yung 30y, nag-change ng sign from positive, nag-i-hit, negative, equals 0. Kasi wala na natira doon. So 0 na. Okay? Then, in mathematics, the final answer should always be in a simplified form. So tingnan natin yung constant ng ating terms. We have 5, 5, and 30. So my greatest common factor yung tatlo. What is the greatest one factor of 5 and 30? That is 5. So we divide our equation by 5 to simplify our equation. 5y prime divided by 5 is y prime. 5 double, y double prime divided by 5 is y double prime. Minus 30 divided by 5 is 6. So we have 6 to y to 0. So this is now our final answer. So tingnan yung mga boss, na wala na yung arbitrary constant natin na c. So, this is our final answer. So, we have y prime plus y double prime, and 6y equals 0.